Hi everyone, JB Torres here, another edition of my curiosities. Um, this one is if you're curious about what to watch on this 4th of July weekend upcoming, uh, might I uh, suggest a few shows for you? I have a greater respect for the amount of uh, work that goes into these productions. So um, hopefully you'll take that into consideration when you hear uh, what my suggestions are. So I'm going to give you my top three binge worthy um, shows. And I'm going to start because, <laughs> and I'm going to give you a little context here because I, I grew up in the 80s. And so when I grew up in the 80s, in the mid 80s, somewhere around there, the TV show Miami Vice came out. Now, Maybe you guys were, maybe who were watching, maybe you were an adult at the time you watched the, the Miami Vice series when it was on television. Um, but uh, for the rest of us who were, you know, younger, I mean, I may have seen a few episodes here and there, and I definitely uh, was around for, for that being from South Florida. There was a, a certain, um, <laughs> there's a certain mystique that went with the whole idea of Miami Vice. And it wasn't until a much much older now at, at this age when I just decided I wanted to go ahead and go back and take get all the seasons of Miami Vice and watch them from the beginning and it's really interesting because in doing so I found some really uh, unusual characters uh, actors that would later become completely different household names like um, I think Jimmy Smith's is like on the first episode of Miami Vice and he gets blown up uh, Al Bundy, you know, uh, Ed O'Neill, he's in one of those uh, first season episodes and he plays a, a drug dealer. Uh, Bill uh, Bruce Willis is in one of them, too. He plays this uh, really narcissistic uh, wife beater. So, I mean, you see some of those actors in the early days. And one of the things that fascinates me about Miami Vice, honestly, looking back on it, uh, it's really quite remarkable, is that every single episode had a hit song, you know, from from back in the day. Every single episode had a hit song and you just hear and sometimes it had more than one hit song. Uh, and that's unusual because when you watch a lot of programs now, I mean, you hear a lot of noise. I mean, you hear about music and sometimes it's really, you know, nice music or whatever, but or score. But you don't hear songs that, you know, you know, from the radio, like from from your nostalgia from the days back or something you heard on the radio a million times. And. But Miami Vice is absolutely littered with these, and it's it's remarkable on, on so many levels. And I want to give a shout out to uh, one of my Facebook friends, Jamie Caton, who just happened to be watching it at the same time that I was. He posted something about that. So, Jamie, you know, touche to you, man. Um, so that would be my number three. Uh, my number two uh, show that I recommend for this Fourth of July weekend is Jack Ryan. Jack Ryan, it's on, I think it's on its fourth episode, its fourth season now on Amazon. If you have, if you subscribe to Amazon, Amazon Prime, you will not be disappointed. Now, I know the actor plays a, a funny guy. I forget his name, but he's in the office. He plays a funny character in the office. But in this show, he's actually very, very serious. And, and you know, he's got that boyish look for being an older cat. But uh, it's it's a fascinating show. It really uh, those of us who remember the the Harrison Ford Jack Ryan character from Clear and Present Danger and Patriot Games and the, those films. Um, it's the same character. It's just in a different setting. I guess I don't know. It's kind of kind of a more modern twist to it. But if you uh, if you enjoyed those uh, Harrison Ford flicks from back in the day, uh, you're gonna like Jack Ryan, the newer version on on Amazon Prime. Now, before I tell you my number one binge-worthy show to watch on this 4th of July weekend, uh, let me give you three honorable mentions, because I like to do that. So the first honorable mention that I have for you is a show from Australia. It's called Bloom. And, uh, you know, this month of July, I'm turning 52 and I'm getting older. I'm thinking about my younger years, like, like a lot of people do when they reach their older years. Not that I'm that old. Come on. But anyway... Uh, this show, Bloom, is absolutely mind-blowing. It's one of those shows. It's on Hulu. Um, it's about uh, cons the people that consume these berries, right? These really uh, special golden berries. And they make you go, uh, they make you turn young again. So there's, there's like uh, these older people, like we're talking senior citizen older people. And so they eat these berries and they become, you know, 20 again. <laughs> it's hysterical, but it's also, it's got rich characters. It's got a really nice storyline. It's, it's fascinating. It's a really great show. If you want to 
watch something for a bit. Uh, Bloom, because it's on Hulu. Uh, my second honorable mention is Succession. And that one, I think a lot of people are already watching that. It's on HBO. Uh, I think it's on a, coming into the third season or whatnot. F- absolutely fantastic show. Uh, anyone who loves cinema, who loves drama, who loves, you know, rich characters and really, you know, deep storylines that are all connected. It's Succession has it all, if you ask me. There's great writers, great actors. I think it stars Brian Cox. He's been in a million movies. Absolutely fantastic show, Succession. That would be my second honorable mention. Um, and uh, my last honorable mention is probably one that you're familiar with, I'm imagining, if you watch a lot of television, uh, Black Mirror. It's on Netflix. Uh, Black Mirror is... <laughs> I'm not even going to try to explain to you what Black Mirror is. It's, it's, it's absolutely mind-twisting, some of the stories that they have on this show. And those of you that have seen Black, Black Mirror are... Uh, know exactly what I'm talking about. <laughs> It'll twist your mind into a pretzel. It'll make you think some really wild stuff. I, I absolutely commend the producers and the creators of Black Mirror. Absolutely fantastic show. And now I'm up to my number one binge-worthy television show that you should watch over the 4th of July weekend or at any, any point that you have time. I know people have a lot of things going on. But uh, I would rather uh, cons- hope you would consider, and I know that I'm going to probably get so- all kinds of different reactions for this, but Better Call Saul. If you haven't watched this show yet, you know, it's a spinoff from Breaking Bad with the character, with the lawyer, uh, Saul Goodman. <laughs> if you haven't seen this, this show yet, if, if you've been, you know, kind of on the fence about whether, whether or not to watch it, absolutely watch it. Trust me, you're going to like it. It's, it's a fantastic show. Just uh, um, Bob Odenkirk is just, he's a great actor. He's, he's really made this character his. And the show is so interesting. And the characters and this just, there's just the plot of it is just so fantastic to me. There's a lot of twists. And uh, he's, a, he's, a, he's a likable character, even though he's not a likable character. It's one of those gray area characters, the kind of characters I like to develop in my own shows. So I think I have a great admiration for, for Bob and Kirk for, and all the crew over there at uh, Better Call Saul. So those are my TV binge uh, recommendations for this 4th of July weekend or whenever you have time, hopefully in the, this summer. If you haven't seen these yet, Please consider watching them. I am not a. I'm not being paid by anybody to, to suggest these things. I'm just a, a fan, someone who watches uh, things when I have time, you know. And uh, my time is so like I don't have a lot of time to do these things to sit down and watch television. I'm, I'm extremely busy, like a lot of people are. And so if I'm going to sit down and, and, and watch television, if I'm going to sit down and dedicate an hour or two to watch TV or you know more than that. I'm going to want to watch something that's going to hold my attention, something that's going to be worth my time. And so I hope you will consider these particular shows because I have spent a lot of hours watching these shows and they were hours well spent. So that's really uh, my take on this. And hopefully you will consider that going into your vacation time, your summer time, your holiday time or whatever time. And, uh, you know, feel free to drop me a comment. And, uh, you know, I I don't know where you're watching this, if you're watching this on Facebook or if you're watching this on YouTube or Rumble or some other platform that I'm posting my videos on. Please uh, consider uh, sharing this with others and suggest that they follow me and subscribe to the channel or whatnot. Um, maybe consider becoming a patron of the show because you know this is this is an ongoing thing for me i'm doing a lot of different productions i'm involved with a lot of other people so uh with the new kingdom radio theater um just consider those things and uh feel free to drop me a comment i'd really like to hear what you got to say about any of these things whether you're like them or whether you've already watched them or you didn't like them and you stopped watching them i'd like to hear your reasons but uh on that note i will say thank you for your time thank you for hanging out with me and until the next one god bless New Kingdom Radio Theatre